25 years ago, a little movie called Spice World starring the Spice Girls hit theaters. So let's spice up her life. If you're having a good time, let's talk about it. Welcome back to Almost Sideways, a place for movie conversations. My name is Adam, and today's conversation is going to be an interesting one. It's a movie called Spice World. Now, this is a movie that I went to see with my dad on my birthday weekend. Uh, so my birthday was last weekend. So uh, it definitely something that I had watched with my father in theaters. I remember vividly seeing this movie with my dad. So we're going to dive into our thoughts of Spice World in a second. But let me know what you guys thought. If you guys remember this movie, watching this in theater, or you have memories of watching this, or what do you, what's your favorite song from the Spice Girls, rather? Let me know in the comments section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe by hitting that those buttons as fast as you can. That'd be what uh, would be much appreciative if you guys can do so. And uh, make sure you guys check out our podcast. Full episodes are there on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and Pandora, Anchor, Type in Almost Sideways Movie Podcast. You'll find us wherever you, where we're at. Spice World came out January 23rd, 1998. It's PG with an hour and 33 hour and thirty three minute runtime. It stars the Spice Girls. There's also some other famous actors that we have seen before. I rewatched this movie and I was like, oh, I know that guy. Richard E. Grant shows up in this movie. Alan Cummings shows up in this uh, movie. We got Elvis Costello. We got um, Elton John pops up. We have James Bond himself. Roger Moore pops up in this movie. I'm sure there's other people in here as well, but uh, really interesting to revisit this movie 25 years ago. Now, my birthday is in February, early February, and I definitely wanted to watch this movie uh, on my birthday with my dad. So my dad asked me every year, like at that time, like, hey, what do you want to go do? I said, I want to go see the Spice World movie. So I was really into Spice Girls. And I was trying to explain to my daughter what the big deal with Spice Girls was back when I was a kid. And I really couldn't draw a comparison, a really good comparison until like I had slept on it. Obviously, BTS is really huge right now, um, but that's not really in as international as others. But then I thought of the perfect comparison. One Direction would be pretty spot on. It's a group of five, you know, really attractive people uh, from the uh, UK or London area or Europe, and uh, they've kind of worldwide uh, phenomenon and success. And I remember One Direction is really actually spot on comparison to Spice Girls. I think Spice Girls has definitely um, got more awards and accolades and renown um, with them compared to the One Direction. But, you know, I think that's a pretty that's good, at least a analogy comparison there. But anyway, back to my dad's story here. So my dad took me out to this Mexican restaurant when I was, uh, I think, eight years old. And I didn't want them to sing happy birthday to me. But of course, he, my dad, me and my dad have to embarrass your kid. He goes over and gets the mariachi band at the time to come over and sing me happy birthday. I was super embarrassed because he wasn't at the table. I was just putting myself there. And I was I was embarrassed. He got beat red in the face. And of course, after dinner was over, we went over to the theater, which is right across the street, to buy our tickets for Spice World. Uh, at the time, there was a couple people in the theater. It wasn't like a sold out show because it's been a couple weeks since the movie released. And I we went down and I, we were going to sit near the back. My dad's like, no, let's sit in the front, in the middle. So the boobs are bigger. And I was like, Dad, stop it. No, that's embarrassing. Really embarrassed the crap out of me. Uh, but I, 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 that's a great memory to have because I, it's completely ingrained in my head. Like I remember seeing this movie with my dad. I remember moments of the movie on playing on the big screen. We'll dive more into that kind of stuff in a second. But it was just definitely a fun time back in 1998 because I watched a lot of movies in theaters with my dad. It was a lot of fun. A little fun to be alive in 98. Because 98 is like one of the years I just have really fond memories of some movies that I watched. But anyway, let's jump into the synopsis of this movie. And I was trying to, you know, think about it. Like there's a lot of stuff that jumps from place to place on this movie. There's not really a, <laughs> a story, really. Uh, essentially, there's a live gig at Albert Hall that the Spice Girls are preparing for. So there's a lot of different uh, songs they sing along the way. Uh as in preparation, they do little vin little gigs here, there, and what have you. And there's kind of like the relationship between the monks, the the Spice Girls. And you get Mel B as Scary Spice. You get Emma Button as Baby Spice. You get Melanie C as Sporty Spice. You get Gary Horner as Ginger and Victoria Beckham as Posh Spice. Uh, growing up, my favorite was Posh Spice or Ginger Spice. I probably would prefer Mel B or Sporty Spice now, 
uh, just because those were just watching this movie. I think they were had a, they were just cooler in the, in the movie anyway. But trying to figure out, trying to pin the pieces of this uh, synopsis and what this movie is about. Like I said, like they're trying to get to Albert Hall, so they do play a lot of gigs. And there's one tabloid journalist that really wants the Spice Girls not to be as famous as they are, so they try to spoil their their name their be- their good name by hiring this uh, photographer to try to to uh, take bad photos and get bad press for this tabloid journal. I also have Alan Cummings' character who's trying to record a documentary about the Spice Girls, and uh, we also get these other people trying to pitch movie ideas to the, uh, Richard E. Grant's character, who's like their manager to, uh, to try to get them to uh, be movie stars as well. You got Roger Moore is the chief, like the head over uh, the, the overseer of the spice girls, which Alan Richard E. Grant reports to uh, really a lot of stuff moving on. It feels like an SNL sketch a lot of the time, but also another good it's get him to the Greek essentially as well with uh uh, Jonah Hill and uh, um, Russell Brand there, or like Puff Daddy is like the overseer, like the it's he basically essentially like Roger Moore's character in this movie. A lot of uh, get him to the Greek in here where they basically go into like little little sections of little of the movie. There's not really a whole big synopsis. They're basically trying to get to a venue to play a concert. I feel like get him to the Greek has more story if you believe can believe that. But on IMDb, the synopsis does read: World famous pop group the Spice Girls zip around London in their luxurious double decker tour bus, having various adventures and performing gigs. That is pretty much what it is. There's, it's, it gets so crazy. In fact, they meet aliens, aliens. And this is a point that I actually remember quite vividly in the theater. They stop off to pee because the, the toilets in their double decker bus are broken and they're in the middle of the woods. So they, all the girls leave their bus to go pee in the woods somehow. Um, and this alien saucer comes down. There's four or five aliens come out and they're big Spice Girls fans. So they want autographs. And one of them tries to get a handsy with uh, scary spice. Yeah, it's a very, <laughs> very trippy and weird. I got to say for sure. Um, I remember that it, it's it's so, so stupid, but it's awesome. Uh, this movie is definitely um, a girl power movie. And uh, it definitely talks about that quite a bit. But I think it's really, uh, really cool and really entertaining. Like I said, I'm nostalgic for this. It, it just proves that, like a band like this, was so popular. They're gonna want, they want to make movies about you too. So, uh, yeah, Spice Girls. It's not the greatest film. Uh, it's not as you know, I, I'm not as like in love with it as since I was a kid. But it's really cool to own this movie now. Like I had to track this movie down on Amazon just to kind of find it because I know it wasn't streaming anywhere. And I think I've, I've paid maybe too much for it, it, much more than any other DVD in my collection. So it's definitely a prized possession in my in my collection now because I was like, I got the Spice Girls movie that I used to watch when I was a kid. I used to listen to that soundtrack countless number of times. And I was, I'm, you know, to this day, I still have uh, Spice Girls movies, music on my, my, you know, my phone. They pop up every once in a while there too. So it's just a good piece of 90s history, this movie. And again, 25 years ago, this movie came out a uh, very entertaining, uh, entertaining movie, to say the least. Again, like I said, it came out January 23rd, 1998. So uh, just right before my birthday happened. And the budget for this movie is twenty five million dollars. It, it was made for twenty five million dollars and it, it grossed twenty nine point three million. So it just barely made its box office back. So it wasn't a box office smash or anything like that, but. Uh, it, it was still something that I remember seeing in theater at, in Anaheim with my dad. And it was just a good time, good fun memory there to have that I will always cherish for the rest of my life. So I do have Spice Girls on DVD. So pretty exciting stuff there. All right. So we do go into the awards section here. This is going to be interesting to see what he got nominated for. Because I do see he got nominated for 11 awards here. The Blockbuster Entertainment Awards. Uh Favorite actress in a comedy nomination for the, for the Spice Girls. They grouped them all in one nomination for Blockbuster. They, they didn't win. They got nominated for this category. The Kids' Choice Award. They got favorite movie actresses for all the Spice Girls again. Did not win for that one. The Razzie Awards. Boo! Uh, Razzie Award. Worst musical of our first 25 years. This, this is Razzie 20, uh, 2005 award shows, by the way. Razzie Award winner for Worst Actresses. They gave them to the Spice Girls on this one. 
a Razzie Award for Worst Picture, a Razzie nomination for Worst Screen Couple, any combination of two characters, body parts, or fashion accessories. That's what they that was the nominee for. The Razzie Award for Worst Supporting Actor for Roger Moore, a Razzie Award nomination for Worst Screenplay, Razzie Award nomination for Worst New Star for All the Spice Girls, <laughs> Razzie Award nomination for Worst Original Song, Too Much. I think that's a good song. You shut up, Razzie Awards. Uh, the Stinker Awards are back as well. Worst Actress winner for them. Uh, worst Picture winner. Uh, one Worst Picture there. Nominated for Worst Scenes. Uh, Sense of Direction. Stop them before they direct again. Bob Spires. Ooh, Bob Spires getting some hate there from the Stinker Awards. And Worst Song in a Motion Picture. Spice Up Your Life. That's a great song, too. You shut your mouth. Anyway, I'm mad now. So let's just <laughs> let me know in the comments section down below, guys, what you guys thought of Spice World, uh, starting the Spice Girls. Do you guys like it? I get, get it. This is more of a guilty pleasure movie than anything. But let me know in the comments section down below, guys. Let me know in the comments section down below what you guys thought of Spice World. Love to have a good conversation down there in the comment section. All right. Well, that's my quick thoughts on Spice World. It was great to go down memory lane. Again, this is my birthday weekend. Happy birthday to me. This episode dropped. Yay, another year older. Yes, I'm, uh, it's exciting times here in my household. But anyway, 